this is a really great slide from Cyrex that I love to use to kind of explain this intestinal path and pathogenic uh, permeability or leaky gut as it's often called. So we can develop two different types of intestinal permeability. Intestinal permeability through the cells in the gut or between the cells in the gut. So on this test, we're looking at antibodies to actomyosin. And actomyosin are these little protein structures within the cells. Now there's always gonna be a normal level of antibodies because antibodies are the cleanup crew. They clean up dead cells, dead tissue. It's when there's too much destruction of this actomyosin that we have, uh, the body has to create elevated antibodies, a bigger cleanup crew, right? And then we know that there's likely destruction of this and intestinal permeability through the cells in the gut. We're also looking at antibodies to occlude and zonulin, these tight junctions in between the cells. And also on this test is whole blood zonulin. And that has a half-life of anywhere from four and a half minutes to about four hours. So we really like people to do this test fasting because we don't want this to be artificially elevated because they, have, um, they ate a high-fat diet um, that morning, like for breakfast, or they ate a piece of gluten toast, right? That can artificially elevate uh, that marker. So on here, you can see that lipopolysaccharides, they're really hard to see, they're these little dots. It's gram-negative bacteria. So we have lots, trillions of bacteria in our gut, but what can happen is we can have elevation of gram-negative, and that can contribute to intestinal permeability uh, through the cells and between the cells, and then it can leak out and go systemic. And on this test, we're gonna be looking to see if there's antibodies in the bloodstream to LPS. And LPS can come from infections in the mouth, infections in the gut, chronic sinus infections, chronic UTIs. You just always wanna investigate where is this infection coming from. Um, parasites, viruses, yeast um, can also contribute to this breakdown. 